Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Purpose. Today I want to talk to you about the goodness of God. Now I'm no theologian and I'm definitely not a philosopher, but I've learned in my life that God is good. And I want to give you a couple ideas of how that is the case. One, because the Bible says so. Two, because I know Him. And three, because we can't change truth. So let's go back. In the beginning when God created Adam, like he said at the end of all of creation that this is good. What he made was good. But the thing is he gave us free will and with free will comes sin. And because Adam chose that, he opened the door for, for the evil, for the war, for hatred, for all of those things to take root. But God also gives us the free will to choose him and to choose his goodness and to choose to live the way Jesus did and live a life of humility and live a life of generosity and character and hope and joy. And I think that every time we start to live that way, we allow a little more good of him to show and to combat the evil that's going on. Secondly, because I know him. When we begin to build relationship with God, when we open that Bible and we read the statements that are there, they're not just statements anymore. They're truth, they're promises, they're who he is. They describe his character. And just like any relationship, when you start to get to know someone, you build trust with them. You learn to trust their heart. You learn to understand that even when it doesn't make sense, they're making a way for what's best for you. In God's goodness and in me knowing him, even though I've gone through seasons of doubt and seasons of hurt and pain and suffering and all of those things, I still know that he's good because I know the heart of my God and I know the sacrifices he's made for me. I know that he doesn't forsake me and that he's with me every step of the way. Most importantly, he's good because he loves me unconditionally. He's good because he's purposed me. He's good because he's given me hope and a future. He's good because he gave his son for me. He's good because he made me exactly the way I was meant to be. And he's good because even in my sin and even in my poor decision, his love sustains me and it keeps going. And how can you not say that that is good? And three, he's good because it is truth. I can't take that away from him. No matter how much a situation tries to tell me he's not good, he is. I can't change the fact that my God is good. I can choose to not believe it and I can choose to see the evil as opposed to seeing his good hand working through it. But at the end of the day, our God is a good God. He's gracious, he's merciful, he's forgiving, he's understanding. He never puts us through a situation alone. He's with us through all of it. And it doesn't necessarily look the way I think because his ways are higher than my ways and his thoughts are greater than my thoughts. And so for you out there who your spouse just walked out on you or your depression is starting to take root again, maybe you lost your job, maybe your only child is walking away from God and is choosing a life of destruction. I know it doesn't seem good, I get it. And I don't even get it to the extent that God understands what it feels like for you. He's feeling those feelings with you. He wants to be there alongside of you. But I think for us sometimes to see the goodness of God in those situations, we have to be declaring his goodness. We have to be singing his praises throughout it. We have to be able to say, my God is good and I choose to serve him regardless. My God is good and I choose to love them. My God is good and I will step out and trust him no matter the outcome. Because one day when I meet Jesus face to face, I'll get to see and experience his goodness in a way I never have before. And when he says, well done, my good and faithful child, I'll know his goodness was with me all along. And I'll know that every time I decided to proclaim his goodness, as opposed to speaking bad about what was happening, I brought a little bit more of him into this world. I brought a little more good to combat the evil in this world. And I want you to know that even in that chaos and even in the pain and the misunderstandings, God is still gonna show his goodness through you if you allow him to. So open up your heart to him. Open up your world to others and allow them to see the goodness of God in your life. Though there is evil in this world, it doesn't take away who God is. He is truth, he is love, he is hope, and he, he is good.